Hello, this is going to be the second episode in my uh, Dead of Winter board game insert kind of demo. Well, not demo, but tutorial. Um, now, this is episode two because in the first one I made the kind of external kind of shape of the insert. I haven't glued that together yet, it's still all loose. Um, but I put it together in the box just so it's there so I can make some measurements now internally. Uh, so, the measurements I now need to do are going to be the internal kind of sections. Now, to explain my plan, what I was intending on doing is having all the cards kind of along one edge, a bit like that. So having one section to corner off this, where I can then stack all the cards. Now what I'd ideally like is to be able to have individual sections for each card. So you can see over on this side, hopefully, there's actually 13 separate decks. A lot of these look identical, but that's because they are the different items for all the different locations. Now, the, the reason I want everything separate is just because it will make everything go back in a nicer way, and it will also separate much more easily. I don't have to think about looking out and sorting all the different cards into different piles. They'll just fit nicely, is my intention. So, what I'll need to do, um, if I put all the edges back, is make a piece that goes along here. Now that's going to be a completely flat piece and it's actually going to be the, the same size as this bit. Um, it might need to be a slightly longer depending on how, um, depending on kind of the exact measurement. Um, but I just need to measure a piece that's going to be this long. Um, so if I just put the ruler in, or on, um, the, the piece I need to measure is going to be 27.6 or 7. I think I'm going to make it 27.7 just because it looks like this edge is slightly longer. Um, actually, I think I'll make it the same. I'll make it 27.6 by 5.2. Um, and that's going to be my kind of divider, my first divider. So I've got my piece here, and this piece is just measure it to double check is 27.6 so this piece is exactly the right length all I need to do is cut it to the right height and the height is 5.2 so I will just measure out 5.2 and 5.2 and because I know that they're measured I've just done it straight away and cut this piece. Make sure the ruler's in the right place. I felt that move then. There you go. Okay, so this piece, I just take it, it's the right size. Um, this piece is the perfect size to go in between here. Now that, once it's all glued together, I think basically what happens is the box is slightly sagged in the middle. These bits are pushing out. Whereas if I push them so they're kind of square, um, then this is all tight and how it should be. Um, so once it's all glued together, it will be completely snug. But this piece does seem to rattle a bit, but that's only because the box is not um, perfectly in, in, in space. Um, so when the cards are in, they are going to need to be slanted. Um, and I'll try and kind of show you, but if they're put in, they do stand proud of um, the 5.2 millimeters that I've measured. So they will need to go at an angle, um, which I could measure, but I might, I'm just gonna kind of like eyeball it, I think, um, and put some, like, draw some lines on basically um, as to where I need to put the pieces. Um, but I can put these ones in, I can put these ones in. I can then move the knife out of the way, which I always keep forgetting. I can then measure, if I don't drop everything, exactly where this piece should be. Now I don't want to make it completely tight against this side like that. I want it so there's some movement. Um, so what I'll do is I'll measure it exactly by basically just drawing on the side of this. 
and that is the exact distance that will need to be glued in at. But I'm going to add in an extra two millimeters ish, just so we've got um, some room. I don't want it to be loose and floppy. I don't want them to have like a, a centimeter of room to just wiggle like that. But I want them to just just be snug so they can have a small wiggle um, without kind of being being wrong. So I've, I've drawn in my lines and move that piece out of the way. And this piece. Um, no, I'll actually leave this one. I'll leave these two in. And what I'm going to do, get you in. Um, I just have a card in there as a reference. So I want some room. So all I'm going to do is basically draw a line roughly where I want the edge to be. And then I can measure that. Um, with the ruler, which is here. Um, so that is going to be basically like nine point nine point two. So if I take this piece out, I can then measure nine point two and make sure it's exactly square. I'm just going to draw a line on there. Now the line is basically going to be like a gluing aid. When I glue this piece in, I don't want to glue it in and have it rock. Um, or have to like eyeball it too much. Now what I'm going to do is mark out the kind of half centimetre thickness of this. So I'm just measuring the 9.2 and then adding on so it's going to be 9.7. And I can draw a line across there. I can just shade that in just so to know that's where something's going to be. So that, that is one end. I then need the other end, which is this piece, and that is going to be 9.2 and 9.7. So I can go 9.2 and 9.7. And put two again. And, one and this is just going to help us. It just makes it so much easier if you can visualise exactly what it is that you're going to be um, kind of measuring. I'm not saying measuring, but um, where you're going to be gluing. So when I stick this piece in, eventually, it's going to be in the right place, no matter what. Now, I've I've got that these two lines so I can now know that when I glue this piece in it needs to be exactly here. Now I'm going to assume the rest of this space is enough for everything else in the game. The cards should fit. Um, if they don't that's a problem but I'm 90% sure that the card being in his space will leave enough space here to have everything else sorted fine. So with that all done, um, I can now start measuring out all the card kind of lengths. So, this is going to be an annoyingly tedious piece. Okay, so I think I've figured it out. What I'm going to be doing, I've done lots of drawing on this piece that I was measuring out, and I've kind of encountered the problem of not everything seemed to want to fit. Um, I've got 12, 13 different card piles, or card decks I suppose, and I measured out the spaces and only got to 11 spaces, um, so I do need more space. Um, I don't know whether this is because I've just let everything have a little bit too much space, so I'm going to measure out and cut out the pieces that would divide it, and hopefully that will help me kind of get an idea of how everything should fit. So. I've measured the distance this way for each divider and the dividers I'm going to not do a 45 degree angle at the bottom. I'm not going to cut that. 
Uh, what I am going to do is just have it flat at the bottom and flat at the top. And that should mean it kind of is a lot easier to cut. And the measurement of that is 6.5. So I'm going to measure a piece of card that's 6.5 long. So I think I'm going to cut it um, a strip off this end. So I'm going to measure the 6.5. Pencil. And I'm going to measure that at a couple of intervals. And if I basically join up these dots, and that will be the height of each of the dividers. Okay, so I've I've got those two edges. I now need to get the edge that goes this way, which is this piece. Um, so this is going to be half a centimetre shorter than the length of that piece. And I'm not going to glue this piece in yet, but I'm just going to make sure it's kind of in the right place when I put these pieces in. So that should fit nicely there. And these are going to be squished in here at an angle, like that. And the first one is shorter than the others, uh, which I didn't think of measuring. Let's just see if this is about the right size. This is the perfect size. OK, so this piece. I'm just quickly going to cut to 9.2 as well. And go there. Go in there. is going to be shorter vertically than the other pieces. So I'll try and have, keep it upright so I can kind of show you. So this piece is going to go in there and that's going to basically be a useless back support for the cards. That isn't necessary at the moment. Then I'm going to have the next one in here like that. And I'm just going to continue doing this all the way down until until everything's it. But the way I'm, the reason I'm doing it this way rather than trying to stick to my measurements is because this will basically reassure me that I'm doing it right. Um, my glue gun's still squirting all over the place. Um, it has a really strange tendency to do that. So this needs glue along the bottom and well along the bottom and the side. So I'm going to glue put glue on the bottom or on the side. Sorry that and I'm going to put glue on the bottom and then I'm going to stick it into its corner and I'm also going to get a tiny bit of glue from the glue gun and squish it in right in the bottom like that and that glue is just making sure it kind of has stuff, something right in the bottom of it to seal it. I'm also just going to squish that right into place with this. Okay, there we go. So now we've got the first piece in, which is attached by a piece of string. So, make sure the glue's dried. I can now stick this stack of cards in at the desired angle. Make sure the glue is all dried first. I'm 
I can put these cards in at the desired angle and work on that. So I can stick them in and get the next kind of barrier. Which I think for this one is almost perfectly what I measured. I think it's the other ones that might need to be adjusted. So I'm going to do the exact same thing here. So I'm going to make sure there's no glue on the end of my glue stick. I'm going to put glue down one edge and some along the bottom. Come on, glue them. Now I'm going to stick that into its place and keep it on the right angle. But I need a new glue stick, so I'll just stick another one in ready. And I think I'm going to do the same thing as before. I'm just going to put a squidge of glue. On the bottom of it like that. And get a piece and squish it flat. Like that. Okay. So this is now what I have. Um, I don't know if this is exactly what I wanted, and it will basically mean that my cards are going to fit in like that. Um, although I've just realised something I haven't done yet that I needed to do, which is to cut out the gap, which I now feel a bit silly because I've forgotten. Um, I'm just going to turn the glue gun off because I should have done this before, but I basically need the place for your finger to, to go in to grab the cards. And what I'm going to use for this that I thought would be a, a kind of simple idea is this. So if I put this ruler in, straight in the middle, I can draw around this. Like that. And using my knife, I can cut this out. Now, it's going to be slightly awkward to cut this out, but I'm going to just cut it out in kind of small pieces. First one's always going to be awful, um, but the ones after this should be slightly, be slightly better. So actually, I can just put the piece on top to figure out where this ruler then goes. Then I can draw my lines around it. Like that. And I'll get on with all of these. So you don't have to watch this, I'm just going to quickly cut all these pieces out. Okay, so I've sorted the problem out. Uh, we now have finger holes in all of the pieces I've made, um, which is good because now you can put your finger in and pick up the cards that are inside it. Um, I also cut a small slot in the back so you can get out these cards. So just to, just to kind of Show, show what the situation would be is if this edge was in you just grab your cards and you can pull them out and it's not, not that difficult and it's not difficult to put them all away um, and they don't rattle too much they rattle a tiny bit side to side but it's nothing major um, I'm quite pleased with how the, the kind of bottom of the pieces is gluing in even though it's a 45 degree angle and there's a bit of space the hot glue seemed to have kind of solved that problem quite well um, so I've done these ones, so I can technically leave those in there. Um, I then have the other ones, which are either going to be these or these, depending on which part's thickest. I think it's the secret ones. Um, so I will put these in place and get them all exactly where they should be. I'm then going to mark in the gap. Uh, one more thing marking again, put, put, put this piece in 
where I want it to be. And that one again is roughly where it, where it should be. So I need to put glue along um, the side that's going to go on the left and along the bottom. So I've got a hot melt glue gun on and I'll just put the glue on the bottom. along the side and you just need to scoop a bit of glue off this because it seems like I've put a bit too much on in one of the areas and this will then glue in place along that line Again, I need to make sure it's glued along the bottom. Um, so I'll just squirt a line of glue along the bottom of like that. And then use my pokey stick. To make sure that's completely smooth. And in a second, that should have glued in place, which should mean all these cards can slot in place and they are perfectly easy to get out and perfectly easy to put back in. Now, I'm um, just looking at the side of this and noticing I could save a little bit of space. You should be able to see in there that there is a little bit of too much space. It's almost like an extra half centimetre of space uh, where the cards are, which just isn't really necessary. So I'm thinking of making it slightly more snug than that for the rest of the cards. So I'll get this deck of cards and I'll put this one in. And try and squish that in a bit more kind of tight. Um, I think that is about right. So I'm just going to draw a line across the bottom here just as an indicator. More up the side. And I'm going to do exactly what I've just done. Get rid of the glue. Put some along the edge. And I'm not in this situation going to put any along the bottom yet. I'm just going to stick the edge exactly where I want it. And I'm going to get the hot melt glue gun. And squirt the glue along under the bottom. So that should mean that that gap is basically exactly what we need for these cards. I'm just going to wait a little bit for it to dry. Now, in an emergency, the hot melt glue can, uh, the hot melt glue can be taken apart. You don't need anything really complicated. Uh, you just need a knife, and you can gently cut on the side, and that should be fine. But that is perfect. There's almost no wiggle, and that slots in perfectly. So I think these two, I gave way too much room, especially this second pack. Uh, but these first ones, they fit in fine. So. I now have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven decks to fit in this space. It's going to be a bit, a bit squished. Now my options are is trying to just fit them in like I'm doing now, or 
I can just put them all in one pile and just have one big deck. And I'm tempted to just have a quick look and see what it looks like if I put in one of these. I think I'm just going to leave it like this um, and have one compartment for all the cards. So what I'm going to do is put these in. And it's along this line roughly. So I've already got the, the line marked. I'll just make sure I point out which one it is. This one. So, exactly what I've done before. And glue along one edge. And as before, squeak loads of glue in along the bottom just to kind of seal it all down. Let's do. And the other thing that this enables me to do is to have a space here which I could put other stuff. Um, I'm just thinking I could put maybe the dice or something just down in there. So I think I'm going to put this piece in now, which should mean all the card kind of side is done. So once I've done that, it should mean I'm basically done. So. I'm going to take all the cards out in this very stupid way. And I need glue along. The sides on the S that are going to be touching something, but also I'm going to put a small piece of glue on each of these dividers. And quickly stick this in, push it down, and make sure I'm kind of forcing it together because it will need to be stuck nicely. And that one is done. Now I can turn my hot rod glue, off, glue gun off because I'm not going to use that at the moment. And again, I think now is another point to stop the video. So now I've done this. This is the stage I'm at. Now I've got all the dividers for the cards, which I can actually try out now. There you go. Um, so that's all the cards. That is really, really fantastic. Um, again, I, I would have preferred to have had more space. I think the only way you could have done that is if you'd have made the cards stand further upright. But I think this has worked exactly how I wanted. The, these cards are fitting nicely. It just means before I game I'm going to have to count out which ones are there, or each of the different kind of cards, which isn't too much of a problem. Again, um, I'm learning making this board game insert as I'm going. I'm just showing you how I do my design process. And from that, you should be able to learn how to do it. Um, but again, thank you very much for watching this episode two of my uh, board game insert tutorial. Um, and hopefully see you in episode three, where I'm going to be making some of the containers to fit in uh, the, other, the other pieces. So I've got 
all of these pieces over here. We've got, we've got dice, we've got characters, and it's, it's all a mess, and it's going to all be really nice and sorted out fairly soon. So thank you very much for watching, and see you then.